Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. We are shooting episode two one five, and today's episode is going to be about your questions. So we are doing a Ask Weekend Investing round. This is round twenty four, and in the previous twenty three rounds, we have answered nearly five hundred questions, including this round. So it's a great long uh, journey of twenty four episodes that have. answered practically every question that has been raised about weekend investing strategies our support small case procedures uh, or you know position sizing or things in general but uh, yeah we do this now uh, a few times a month so that we can continue to answer any pending queries all these are also now available uh, on the uh, weekend investing hub and you should be able to you know go and query any of these uh, episodes uh, on that channel so another day and a huge gap down from the very start so it seems like yesterday was just a short covering uh, rally for the expiry and overseas queues were red last night nasdaq was pretty much in the red and uh, the war is still continuing uh, finland wants to join nato so now there is more escalation so there's there's no end to the current woes uh, as of now and nifty dropped 1.27% today and pretty much across the board all sectors were down banking more specifically than others banking metals and pharma took the most hit whereas energy auto it were also hit but to a smaller extent so no hiding place in the entire market in terms of the indices nifty as i said minus 1.2% cnx 200 minus 1.1% cnx 500 1% and others between half and quarter percent small caps were the least hit so that is at least some silver lining that small caps are not falling as badly as large caps fii selling had reduced yesterday a bit but it does seem to have you know gone back to big sale numbers and we'll find out later today within the weekend investing strategies it was nice to see that uh, mi25 mi50 mi20 mi35 all were sort of uh, flat or slightly positive S- most others were between half a percent and one percent. MI thirty and MI eighty H were the worst hit at one point two and one point five percent, pretty much in line with the market. Uh, top gainers for the day: Starlight Tech, Schneider Infra up thirteen percent, Scient after numbers up ten percent, LG Equipment, Bharat Rasayan also up seven to eight uh, percent. In terms of top losers, Rallis India after results. Minus ten percent, Polycab minus eight percent, ICC Lombard, Ages, Hindalco all in five to six percent range. So pretty deep gashes on some of these stocks. So as I said, four hundred and eighty-two questions have already been answered. Uh, there are twenty-three episodes or rounds of us weekend investing available on the hub i will give you the links in the description below if you wish to go through them and each of these episodes you can go and see and improve your general uh, information and knowledge about how to use the small cases which strategies are doing better what kind of performance ratios are there so on so forth so uh, let's get started with the questions Question four eight three from Elon Musk. Uh, first question is: Stairs has been reworked with better risk management. Can you make a video on how to take a trade in all stairs model with do's and don'ts? Since many are not FNO traders, this is important for success of stairs model as your followers must follow correct procedures. So we can make a operational video on this. I'll request my office to uh, prepare this. Uh, but we have already have several videos explaining each model and how one should be working the the uh, 
the supporting backend sheets that we provide along with the model so that you know how to position position size and how to trade that but exact trade uh, uh, sort of uh, flow chart is something that we can prepare and and show you uh, very soon next question is that a live trade session of buying selling can be captured in a video which requires editing so i think we are not looking for people to join stairs who are not yet comfortable with the trade part of it so uh, you know it requires certain uh, comfort to already have with the trade part so unless you are you know familiar with your own uh, broker platform so that you can execute a trade quickly i don't think you should be getting on to this particular product so that is my answer to that uh, papan bhai has the next question i have invested 10 lakhs in mimt all cap the total expense for a year comes out to be 25000 15000 subscription fees and 10000 trading cost this gives an expense ratio of around 2.5% you have said multiple times to keep our expense ratio low mutual funds are offering an expense ratio of 0.3 to 0.3 to 5% so papan bhai i don't see a question here uh if the question is why mutual funds are at a lower expense ratio i don't have an answer to that uh what i would like to suggest is that if you wish to compare although we don't want to compare but if you wish to compare then after taking out all your cost and i don't agree with your 10000 trading cost also by the way but uh, do keep adequate capital so that your expense ratio remains somewhere between maximum 1 to 2% is what my suggestion is and compare the returns that uh, you may get uh, with a small case and after reducing all your costs and additional taxes if you will please compare the returns then and then if you see a viable case for yourself only then go for uh, our small case or any small case so as i'm sure that a lot of people have disclose their results in the last few days over the last many years how what kind of xirr they are receiving uh, from my perspective even at 22.5% expense ratio you're still doing way better than many uh, other uh, instruments out there but then this is a call that you have to take i cannot take that decision uh, next one is from vivek thank you for all your work in dbs thank you vivek Uh, investor in, invested into a lot of your strategies which one would you suggest to be core strategy for investment to get a stable foundation also what would be equivalent of index investing in one of your strategies so good question so mi mt all cap mi 30 and combinations of mi 20 and mi 35 all can be core strategies uh, nnf 10 which is large cap along with Uh, let's say mi 50 which is mid and small cap also make a very good core strategy so you need to see whether you are uh, covering all the uh, sub segments of the market you can do that by single strategies or by combining uh, few strategies but there are yes some strategies like mi ath uh, like mi ath 2 which are very uh, you know different kind of strategies in the sense that they are focused towards additional alpha and that uh, chasing of stocks when the momentum is is in the direction so uh, those are sort of sort of satellite to add to your core but your core can be built up using uh, uh, you know combinations of these strategies and if you would like to uh, you know get more uh, you know suggestions or you want to discuss this more i would suggest that you please drop us a mail and we'll answer this Next question is from Nitin Chopra. Currently subscribed to MI Twenty Five for about one year. Is your subscription fees going to increase in the next five to ten years? Still far away from prescribed limit of fifteen lakhs. Just wanted to confirm whether my expense ratio will increase despite adding money in com- coming years. So we have, as I, I think I, I have probably answered your query on Twitter also, that we have no plan to increase any subscription costs. So. plan your your expense ratio as per the current costs and as per the capital that you are going to bring in next one is from amit divedi 
i know i have asked this numerous times and this won't be included in the question list but i am still i am trying so it has been included uh, and uh, i will try to answer your query uh, when can we see our star perform an mi empty all cap in universal product list uh, so the the basic issue about universal uh, product uh, selection amit is this that while we are offering the strategy on a small case we still have a handle of how many people are using it and what kind of aum is running on it some rough estimate we still can get but once we move a strategy to a universal product list that handle is gone and what we have seen is that universal product list uh, strategies get uh, unfairly shared and 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 hence becomes like you know a sort of a free for all wherein it does not even bother me that it is getting shared to that extent but what bothers me is that the aum that is running on it yeah, becomes a black box and that can really uh, you know if if it becomes very very large that can really hurt the returns for most users who are genuinely you know in, uh, invested in it so that is the inhibition of moving products to universal product list given a choice i would like to move everything only to small case and get done with universal product list but because we have a legacy and uh, several hundred folks are still using universal product list i don't want to shut them out but this is the practical problem that i face with universal products next question is from sunil sethi alok sir why many times we are unable to book partially i am confused because many times it allows and sometimes it doesn't i have done one or two sips so uh, small case uh, sunil sir small case uh, requires certain capital minimum capital so that the entire small case can be built uh, as a whole and once if we try to remove capital so that the remaining capital will go below that threshold capital which is minimum required to maintain the weighing scheme it is a only then that the partial withdrawal will not be allowed but uh, i would suggest you also drop a email to us as uh, marking it to small case also and they can look at your account and maybe see as this specific case if something else is going wrong uh next one is from vegan investor latmar lala so very nice uh, putin dp uh, uh, some people have mentioned that they exit stocks at all time high can you please give some hypothetical examples of how to execute this so i don't recommend uh, going away from the strategy at all if some people are doing it it is their own skill level which they add a layer of their own intelligence on top of it i would not be able to uh, you know suggest any way of doing that Uh, and how to decide the exit point on your own rather than wait for friday update so again i would say the strategy includes exits when, as and when required but if you wish you can create your own system on top of it that you know if i get so much return in so much time period i would like to book some you know maybe 25% 50% in case you want to otherwise if you are accumulating for the long run i don't advise getting out at all and let the strategy take care of it but there are a lot of smart people in the market who have used their own intelligence to improve the results multifold beyond whatever is coming also so that uh, intelligence i would leave it to you to uh, decipher and to uh, implement next one is from shravan kumar the xrr sheet what was shared in the db is giving a different xrr versus what newly getting shown on the small case website what could be the reason and how to get them in sync so there are many potential errors when you build your own xrr sheet whether you've taken all the rebalances all the inflows and outflows have been accounted for or not all the uh, dividends have been accounted for or not all the entries have been done on the correct date or not so there are many uh, entries which could potentially result in some error my suggestion is please go with the small case xrr i have full confidence that the small case xrr has, has taken all the inflows and outflows and the dates into account perfectly 
so there is no reason to doubt that xrr but still if you want to uh, you know recheck that i would suggest that you rebuild your xrr sheet all the uh, order flows are already there in the small case uh, order uh, tab in, on the on the desktop so just go through the, all the orders that you've ever sent into your small case and fill those in into the xrr sheet and then compare and i'm sure you'll be able to find that uh, gap that is there next one is from mr gulshan there are many opportunities incidents in which sudden action is to be required but we come to know at the weekend only but then that opportunity may slip from our hand may we have any tool to execute trade immediately for such opportunities so our sense on this is that the weekly rebalance or the monthly rebalance in some strategies is the optimal time frame to look at the markets yes there will be some instances where you may have reacted earlier and made and had some benefits there however will be many other instances also where you may react early and may regret later so over a longer period of time they do seem to cancel out but if you wish to build your own sort of exit or addition rule on top of the strategy you can definitely do that you can follow some maybe moving average or you can maybe follow some percentage drop from the top and you know exit at an early date if you like and rejoin at the end of the week so there are many ways of doing it but as a uh, as a promoter of these strategies which are weekly rebalance in nature and the whole idea is that you should forget the market for the week i will not be able to propose any additional uh, you know tool to do this on top of this uh next one is from mr macadams the slippages have increased quite a lot in mid small cap base small cases this is clearly visible by the price fluctuations on monday where stocks who have to sell in the rebalance are down by 4 to 5% while those in the buy call are up 2 3% even on days when respective index is flat so slippages will happen from time to time there is no doubt about it uh whether they are 4 to 5% whenever you are selling i will not agree with you because sometimes there are but sometimes they are not uh also what happens is that the the stock which is in trend so if we are in it's an uptrend uh we are buying at the friday close and you are buying on monday yes there is some slippage on the upside and you are exiting a stock because it is in a downtrend and that uh, slippage can come on the downside but then there are other cases when this does not happen or a gap down open where what you have to buy also is down and and what you have to sell is also down so there are many such cases and the only thing what you can do is over a period of time you uh, when you are bringing your capital in gradually you you compare the xrr that you have you know been able to execute over a year with the model returns and if that gap is uh, something th- that you can uh, digest reasonably then uh, you should accept that otherwise what i can say is that the model returns is something that the model uh, portfolio is 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 uh, is uh, achieving uh, it is not intended or it is possi- physically not possible for all portfolios to achieve that uh, percentage return if some stock if portfolio goes up 50% and if you have achieved 43% or 45% or 41% that i think is a good outcome of that uh so if you are not able to achieve the exact percentage as shown by the model that is okay but what you have to consider is that despite whatever is the slip is that return good enough for you or not to continue on that product that is the whole idea because even in a let's say an index fund or you mutual fund when you buy you never get the the nav which is right now i mean you will get next day's nav or uh, you know previous day's nav so uh, it is never the case that you are able to you know buy uh, and sell at the exact uh, moment and hence this model based uh, system also has this uh, gap uh, which is basically a should be an acceptable gap it's just like basically when you buy a car and maruti tells you that in test conditions you know you're going to get 24 kilometers per liter but but when you run it on the road you get 21 so you know it is something somewhat of that nature uh, of the slippages so you have to incur that in your calculation and then see whether it makes sense for you 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू हैड सेड अर्लियर दैट इट इज ड्यू टू इन्वेस्टमेंट बेड ऑन प्रिस्क्राइब लिमिट्स बाई पीपल एनी अपडेट ऑन द फिक्स फॉर दैट नो आई हैव नो फिक्स फॉर दैट आई विल नॉट अलाउ मोर देन ए सर्टन नंबर ऑफ पीपल और सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ ए यू एम टू कम इन टू अ स्ट्रेटेजी बिकॉज इट मेक्स द स्लिपेज दैट यू मैंशन वेरी वेरी सॉर्ट ऑफ और लेट से लार्जर देन वॉट वी वुड लाइक टू एक्सेप्ट एंड हैंस Uh, it cannot be an open ended thing mutual funds are a different animal where they can keep it open ended but even there in many small cap funds they have seen what kind of uh, slippages or 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 gap with the nvs they are seeing and hence uh, opening up of slots happens when you know somebody has moved out and there is a opening of a slot and only then we open the slot for uh, for a new person so and and i am under no obligation to accommodate more and more people Uh, i would rather do you know a smaller uh, number of people rather than let the uh, uh, the slippages or the number of people go out of hand next question is from gulshan are there some rules for strategy specifically that our certain downfall in any stock we should reduce our holding by some extent or we should exit the stock after certain so there are rules in every strategy when it will exit the stock if you wish to override that or create another rule on top of it that is your choice but i would suggest that you go with the strategy the strategies have been running for several years most of them we have seen all kinds of falls in all these years so there is no undue reason to you know improvise on the strategy unless you are sure that you know by doing that you can improve the results for yourself which in which case you should definitely go for it you know if you are confident that by adding another layer of intelligence on top of this you can improve the results by all means please go ahead next one there should be a discount in annual charges at least for those subscriber who subscribed for more than one product strategies at least for live product subscribers so let me put it this way that i don't agree that there should be a discount uh i mean there is no reason for that as such but yes we will consider some ways in which uh we reward people who stay with us for a long time but uh, that there should be something i don't agree with that part of the uh, sentence but yes i mean we will be happy to consider uh something uh, in this coming year itself where we want to differentiate between those who have stayed with weekend investing over a longer period of time versus uh, short term pe- short term uh, hopping around from uh, one strategy to the other next one is from una lom where is weekend chat with weekend investors so weekend chat had taken a break and we will try to bring it back as soon as possible but uh, the many episodes which are already there on the weekend investing hub please go through them and uh, we will try to bring this back as soon as we can next one is why is ml uh, mlt cnx 200 not discontinued yet so there is no reason for us to you know uh, stop it or discontinue it what we have seen is that uh, the new product that we launched mi evergreen last year is a very good Uh, product for the same subset of uh, stocks from the CNX 200 universe, along with the hedge with hedge of gold. So I am encouraging, or I am actually uh, uh, wanting that most CNX 200 uh, LT CNX 200 users shift to that, and I'll facilitate that shift by you know uh, by by uh, by transferring the remaining subscription, or basically at no additional cost to you, we'll offer you that. that product and make sure that you know you you are able to shift without any uh, burden on yourself and i can tell you that evergreen will definitely uh, do uh, a good job in terms of a good strategy in that space and once we are able to move uh, all the people from ltcnx 200 where at whatever time frame is that we will then uh, you know concentrate only on evergreen for that space Uh, next one is from shugam could you share plans for any new strategies to be launched in the new future, near future so uh 
there are no plans for an immediate uh, new strategy but we definitely want to do some strategies on the global markets uh, and we are working towards that uh, in our research department uh, i also have always wanted a strategy uh, that runs on nifty stocks so we have nnf 10 which is nifty next 50 we have we have miltc next 200 which is top 200 then we have uh, strategies on cnx 500 we have strategies on uh, mid and small cap 450 we have strategies on small cap 250 so we have covered pretty much all the universe except for concentrating on nifty so my sort of uh, wish list is that i have a strategy on nifty which can beat the nifty hollow and which can be a great substitute for nifty index investing so i continue to do uh, research towards that and hopefully someday i can do that so these are the two areas where i would like to plan new strategies next one is from mr ashwajit singh who would you recommend stairs to i am a doctor and i don't have enough time to track the market i already have three or four small cases and quite content what are your views so sir uh, stairs requires your attention every hour so at the end of each hour there could be a change of trend or some action may be required so first of all is that you should be comfortable with uh, futures and options you should be comfortable with the whole idea of buying or selling of futures buying or selling of options and some basic knowledge in that would help second of all you should have this time window that you should be able to dedicate a few minutes at the end of each hour in case like in your case you are a doctor and maybe you don't get time for a stretch for 2 3 hours then definitely this product is not for you this is ideally for those people who want to trade who are sort of in the market in the sense that you know at least peeking into the market every half an hour every one hour and who like that you know some sort of a leverage adrenaline rush uh, for making higher returns even even though at a higher risk so it depends upon your intent if you are a, in that category then definitely you should can try it and we have uh, actually rationalized these stairs uh, subscriptions a lot uh, brought them down dramatically so that users can now experience the new risk management uh, methodologies that we have introduced the strategy remains the same but risk management has been severely improved uh, so that uh, you know your position sizing and your drawdowns can be dramatically reduced uh, so if you wish to try that there are three month plans and even the 12 month plans have been re- uh, radically reduced so but then yes these those are the prerequisites that Uh, you should have before you go for the stairs a uh, final question is question 500 from financial guru ji uh, sir have shared slippages of ath as you can see slippages are keeping on increasing no i do not agree with this sorry sir uh, if you can show me how slippages have increased over the last few months i'll be most grateful to reduce these as a manager platform what steps can be taken as a subscriber what can be do to reduce the impact so you should be basically be watching the stocks that you are rebalancing and if you find that at any particular hour because everybody if they jump at 915 and even if you do you know the biggest of market cap stocks you will see if if many few thousand people will jump in at the same second it will slip so you have to see uh, get an get to an optimal time like the 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 small case that i myself use for myself i i i uh, rebalance somewhere around 9:45 on a monday so whatever may have been the change on that day i rebalance at 9:45 and i don't run at 9:15 and i don't wait till 10:30 but there are people who uh, rebalance at 2 2 o'clock in the afternoon there are people who do only on tuesday and leave aside the monday uh, slippages and i mean the results are there in front of you that i mean while you may feel while executing that you know a stock has gone up 3% it will hit my uh, end result you are seeing that the results people are getting over 1 2 3 4 years 
and you are seeing that they are not so far. In fact, some of them are even better than what I was expecting on their XIR basis. So, uh, the uh, in, the what you can do is be more conscious about when you are executing. Uh, have a uh, in my view, have a fixed time at what time you want to execute. And if in case you can manage to uh, execute manually, you can always tell uh, small case to update your portfolio. You can execute them manually and send them a email with your trade list, and they will they will uh, update the backend in case you are not wanting to do the uh, automated rebalance. So these are the only options that can be taken. And as I said, as a manager of the strategy, I am closing the the strategies where I think. The numbers have gone large enough, which can cause uh, slippages, which are not, uh, you know, uh, acceptable. So, uh, but I definitely do not agree with your statement that slippages are keeping on increasing. There is no basis for this uh, statement. Uh, thank you so much for watching Weekend Investing. Uh, ask Weekend Investing round 24. I hope all questions are getting answered. Uh, to your satisfaction if not satisfied please send us mail we will try to satisfy your query our uh, our intent is not to let any question go by without your satisfaction and uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye